Hello? Have you ever wondered how it looks like if you want to create a sample anime of your choosing? A sample image that represents your favorite anime character? Or for example, a really realistic image such like this one right here. So I'm gonna teach you on this video because good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use this new CR AI. Because basically, we're creating realistic photos with this specific application. So this is gonna be the landing page. Let me just remove those two right there and take you step by step here. So with this one, the good thing about it, even everything is realistic, it's 100% free as of now. So without further ado, let's start it. Simply click on login on this button right here. And then you'll have a few choices. You can use it by Discord, Google, Facebook, email, or phone. I'm going to proceed with Google because I have a dummy Google account that I always use on my videos. Simply choose a Google account of your choosing. Again, guys, if you want to use Discord, pretty simple. It's really good. So I'm just going to use a nickname. And then what are you interested in? I'm going to go with characters, anime. I'm going to go realistic there, cartoon, fantasy, render, or pixel. And mythology. No, please choose whatever you feel it here. It doesn't really matter if you need to copy me. It's really make sure that you choose the one you're looking for. So I have confirmed that I am 18 years old. Make sure you toggle that in and simply click on start using. After clicking on that one, you have successfully logged in. Now, to be honest, that is the fastest way of creating an account that I've experienced. Now, two ways to start here. First thing is going to be choosing a specific model and then creating from scratch. So the first one, let's try it out. Um, choose a specific model you want to work with. For example, since I like anime here, I'm going to proceed with anime, this one right here. Okay. So simply click on that image. And as you can see, this has the prompt. And simply click on that try button right there. So after clicking that try button, you'll arrive on this landing page where basically everything that has been generated on that specific image, its parameters, its prompt, it's here. So I haven't touched anything yet because I want to show you how it looks like. On the right side, it has the model that has been used on that image. Even lower is here, the mode is by default. And these are the basic settings that has been enabled on that specific image. So advanced configurations here even advanced repair so i'm not gonna touch anything here i'm gonna state as it is because i'm gonna referencing that video right the thing i'm gonna do right now is basically change the prompt or for example i'm gonna let it stay as is also because i just want to simply see how it looks like so simply click on generate and right now this is going to be generating about two minutes while waiting let's talk about the prices Click on monthly to check it and this is the beginner plan for now i have 150 credits and i think this is replenished every day so i'm good with this one 150 for now but if you want to upgrade these are the prices now i'm gonna go back to my image earlier and this is the result now pretty similar from the base earlier right and for example i'm gonna choose this one right here second one simply click on it and as you can see it's pretty good you can upscale it you can even variation set for example if you want it to be different simply click on this one you can also animate it from here that being said let's try now the very um basic step here on how to create one the next step is basically creating from scratch let me just go back on the landing page and simply click on this button that says generate now from here you go back on the landing page and basically remove everything here now for the model I'm going to choose a specific model now, a different one. I'm going to go with this one. Very realistic. By default, I'm going to go with auto. That means I don't have to be um, complex here. I don't have a hard time choosing the metrics. I'm going to go with auto. But if you want to be specific with your metrics and parameters, of course, click on default. So for the image quantity, I'm going to stick with two. Image mode, high quality, of course image size i'm gonna go with customization by default i'm not gonna touch the negative prompts here because this is given to me by this sampling method right here now that being said for advanced repair for upscale i'm gonna use it later on and that being said with this one i can simply generate my prompt here using this specific uh, model let's just say a girl in a gladiator costume 
Now, this is a simple prompt, right? But if you can see right here, there is this mode that says wand that basically changes your prompt into a very meaningful one. Simply click on it. And as you can see, it gave you a very good prompt, very precise, so you can get that quality you're looking for. Simply click on it, and as you can see, it's estimated cost of four, which always detects it on my free credits, right? Now, it has a try fast queue here, but it will cost you a bit longer, rather a bit much. So that's actually fast, only two minutes, and it's almost done now. Now, these are the results. If you hover your mouse, you can even check the um, options here. You can upscale, change the variation, animate it, um, generate more details here. You can even post graphics, save it or delete. So for example, I want to enlarge it to uh, show you guys. This is actually a good one. But for me, the second photo here is better. Very realistic, very good. Now, this is these are the settings on the right side, right? Let's focus on the left side now because you have image to image. Basically, you can reference an image here. Now I'm going to use one, this one right here that I got from Midjourney. And basically with this one, you have options here, for example, partial repainting, repaint the covered part or partial redraw. So let me just check this one out. Check the brush size. And as you can see, I'm going to change the ear. This one right here. And as you can see right there, you can change the specific um, part on the brush. So for example, enter prompt here, for example, changing that specific cover part if you want it to be covered. If you want earrings, AirPods, or even headsets on this part, you can do so. But for now, I'm going to stick it as it is and change it back. Put it back once again. And as you can see right there, you can choose also a different model by it. So for example, I want to use a different model. Let me go with anime here one more time. And basically, I'm on default right now. And I'm going to choose a prompt on this specific guy. Now, it's referencing a new image by this image. That's why it's called image to image, right? So, for example, let's make it simple. A guy in a train. And I'm going to use this magic one right there to make it more precise. Click on it. And basically, that will cost me four credits again. I still have 142 and this will take around two minutes to three. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back. These are our new photos right now. And since we choose the anime model with that specific prompt, let's check them out. This is the first one. Pretty cool, right? It references the image I got earlier and change it into an anime one. Pretty awesome for the second one also. I think this is much better. Anyway, I've shown you now how to use image to image. Let's move on with control net. So basically control net is another um, filter here. For example, if you choose canny, you can upload an image and create it for a sketch. Basically, that's it. If you choose this normal bay, AI generate a model style pre-pro, making it a little bit more robotic. Basically, that's it. So check them out here. So choose which one you like. Moving on here, you have tools here. For example, you want animate expansion face swap, even upscale right there. Now I'm going to show you this one expansion. I like this one better. So I'm going to use that specific photo again and look how it does. It can expand the image however you like. It's like outpaint but better. Basically, that's the tool here. If you want it to be upscaled, simply upload the photo. And the thing I've noticed about this C art. It's pretty fast. The user interface is pretty fast here. So you can upscale up to four times and click on generate. And let's see if it can upscale it a little bit better than the original version. Now, while waiting, let's check another task or features. For example, this prompt studio. Now, this is pretty simple, which is actually my favorite part. For example, I'm going to have this prompt, black hair, hair bubbles, etc etc now i'm gonna choose some style here if i want it a bit surrealism this is the prompt that i'm gonna use now if i want it a little bit more earlush this is the prompt i'm gonna use now basically it's the same thing as the magic wand prompt earlier the magic wand feature enter a prompt here choose some style here and then see art will give you a brand new prompt to use easy as that right now checking some more here if you want preview just upload an image and basically check how it works here. 
another one here is going to be described actually i like this one also just upload an image and basically it will ask you or rather it will tell you what prompt has been used on that specific photo describe everything as it is and there you go you have two prompts right now those are the prompt that has been used on that specific image pretty cool right and this is the one earlier the one that has been upscaled by four times it's it's fairly the same because it's already maxed out when i did it on mid journey anyway those are the things that you need to take note of on c art make sure you check them out so thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye for now